guys and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be an April reading wrap up. Now I didn't actually get around to reading as many books in April as I wanted to. My April has been very busy, it's been the start of the race season so if you don't know I work in motorsport for touring cars and various other motorsports. Um, so it's just been very busy trying to get sorted for that so hasn't been as much reading as I would have liked but I did read some books. So we're just going to dive straight into all the books that I've read this month. I think I've read five and then I'm currently in the middle of two more. So the first book that I read, I actually read on my Kindle and it was an arc from NetGalley and it was Northern Friends by Lulu Moore. I think that's how you say her name. Um, And I actually ended up giving that one three stars. I did like it. It was kind of like a rivals to lovers romance. Um, It was cute, a little bit cringe in some places, mainly towards the end. Um, But I did enjoy it and I will be continuing the series as I believe it is going to be a series um, because there was like a bit of the next book at the end of this one but I believe there might be multiple in this series so I did enjoy it um, and I will be continuing but it was a three star just standard in the middle romance. Then the next book that I read this month was The Final Couple by Kelly Jean Salve. Um, this was actually gifted to me by Kelly and I loved this book. I feel like it's the perfect summer read. So I ended up giving it four stars. I really, really liked it. It was more of a slow burn. Um, it's a reality TV romance, which I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about because I was a bit like, is that going to work in a book? But it actually really did. It caused obviously the forced proximity of being in the house together. And it was just kind of interesting to read it from almost the behind the scenes um aspect of like reality tv because obviously you don't see what's going on with the producers and stuff when you watch like things like love island and stuff but in this book it's more like you see like the producers setting stuff up so that's kind of like quite interesting um and it was definitely more of a grumpy sunshine type book and um, but yeah ended up giving this four stars and i do think it is like the perfect summer read so definitely give this one a read in the summer and add this to your tbr because it's so I just really liked it, really liked the characters and just really liked the story in general. And the next book that I read was Love in the Time of Serial Killers. Now I started this book last year and just didn't get around to reading it and I really hate DNF in books so I'd got halfway through and just wanted to try and finish it. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> um, I ended up giving this two stars and that was me being quite generous. I just really didn't like it. I really didn't connect with the character. There were some people really, really like it and it was really popular on TikTok. It just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like I thought there was going to be more of a serial killer aspect to the book. Like it started off quite well with her thinking that her neighbour is going to be a serial killer. And then literally that was like five minutes of the book and then the rest was like romance. So it just really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So yeah, I just... I didn't really like that one. Then the next book that I read was Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Natural series. I absolutely love this book. I love this series and I have actually bought the other two now to finish off the series. Um, and the last one includes the novella that wraps up the whole series in general. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked this one. I think I preferred the case stuff in this one, but I preferred the character stuff in the first one like the pace of the character building and stuff in the first book but i gave this four stars which is the same as what i rated the naturals but i feel like that actually might be like a 4.25 because i think i preferred that one slightly to this one as it was just a little bit more fast paced um but i did obviously like that you had more of the same characters and stuff because I've kind of got attached to these characters now so i am excited to continue reading about them and their sort of story um but i did actually really like the case aspect in this one um however like towards the end there was like an additional bit to the case and i was like i feel like that bit was slightly unnecessary but um overall i did really like this book and i just am enjoying the series as a whole so we'll be continuing that into may now the next book that i read has changed my life forever and that is a court of mist and fury if you haven't read this book or the akatar series just do it i really didn't think that i was a fantasy girly and i read akatar like the first one and i was a bit like mm, it's good it's not like great i really liked the writing but i was like this feels very hyped for what it was but this book i understand the hype it is worth all the hype i loved it i loved it i loved it i love the characters in this 
Reese and Feyre. I love them. I love them with all my heart. They are adorable. And yeah, I feel like that's not a spoiler because everybody knows that this book is about them. But yeah, I love them. I love them with all my heart. And I just, yeah, this book I did give five stars. But if I could give infinity stars, I would. I've actually thought about this book every single day since. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is one scene in this as well. I'm going to go on a slight tangent for two seconds to bear with. If you've listened to the new Taylor Swift album, The Torture Poets Department, then there's a song in there called Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. This book, like, that is the perfect match for this book and for Feyre. I just, yeah, I have no words. If you've read this book, you will understand. There's one specific scene, more of an action y scene, where Feyre is the girl boss queen that she is and it just oh matches perfectly 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 um so i also have the next book to read so i'm hoping to read that in may because oh, i just need to know what's going on but i love them i love them i love them and i will never have enough of them if i could read well i have read like over a thousand pages on them but if i could read even more than I would. As I mentioned, I have two books that I am in the middle of, and that is Convenience Store Woman and The Silent Patient. So The Convenience Store Woman, I'm literally like, I have less than 100 pages left, and I know it's the tiniest book, and I have been reading it all week, but I've just been so tired that I just can't read it. Um, so I also then started The Silent Patient, which I started yesterday, and I'm like 28 pages in, so hardly anything. Again, I was so tired. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing a little vlog, um, which will be out just after this video, um, where I'm just trying to finish off some of the books on my April TBR. So if you want to hear like my thoughts on these and whether I got to finish both of them, and maybe some other books that were on my April TBR, then that video will be out very, very soon for you to watch. Um, but I, I've read enough of this one that I can predict it's probably going to be like a three star. I feel like it's just quite standard, easy to read relatively comedic i feel like yeah standard three star book i haven't read enough of the silent patient to tell you what my thoughts are on that like what what rating it's going to be so if you want to see more thoughts on that then watch out for that video as it'll be out very soon but those are actually all the books that i read in april so like i said i didn't actually read tons and tons this month to be honest a court of miss and fury did take up a lot of my time as i didn't want to rush it i just was loving living in that world so yeah and like i said i had a really busy april um but i'm predicting i'm going to be very busy for the rest of the year or at least still october when race season finishes but i think that it's just going to take a bit of getting used to um but yeah so those are all the books that i actually read and if you want to see what i am reading in may or what is on my may tbr then that video will also be out very very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that one um but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in another one super super soon bye